What the heck? What the heck? What up, guys? Welcome to another episode of What the Heck? We're going to be taking a look at a few things that made me what the heck. Hope they make you what the heck, too. First things first, KFC, the makers of that finger licking good chicken. Let me just quote the late great Colonel Sanders. He said, I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. If you haven't been, let, let, let me just backtrack a little bit. Let me just let me just get you started with, with what I'm about to talk about. If you haven't been up to date with the latest video game news, or PlayStation just announced their latest PS5. I mean, if that's not exciting news for you, then I don't know. So with that, they're kind of going through like a console wars thing. Xbox has their Xbox whatever it's called, and then PlayStation has the PlayStation whatever it's called, and they're bumping heads, you know, the gaming community's out there, and everyone's like, you know, rooting for their own team. But, but, KFC, out of nowhere, decided they're gonna get up on this. Yes, KFC are claiming they're gonna have their own console, the KFC console, with supposedly true 4K graphics and 120 FPS. I don't know how they plan to accomplish this. Let's go ahead and look at the trailer for the console. What the heck? Yeah. It has a heating element in it. From the trailer, supposedly it supports cross-platform gameplay. But it has a heating element within it to keep your chicken extra crispy. I don't get it. What the heck? I mean, it was up to me. Uh, see, I don't know about you guys. I don't like playing video games with greasy fingers, let alone letting little kids play my consoles with their greasy fingers. Man, you're gonna get it so bad. Oh yeah, this person's gonna get it now. Oh yeah, take that. Pew, 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 pew. Cass, what are you doing? Don't be playing on my PS4 with greasy, greasy chicken hands. Go wash your hands. Oh man, Dad, you really gonna make me wash my hands? Go wash my hands quick. So I'm gonna go to a little star town to go play my games. Good boy. What the heck? With KFC coming in true fashion, they're kind of known for viral marketing trends, huh? Huh? So I thought this was cool. I thought this was fun in games, and I started to look deep into it. I started to go down the rabbit hole. KFC has their own KFC gaming Twitter account. So before a lot of this, I mean, I, I can't believe I, I didn't see it before. Companies were paying you top dollar to go ahead and play Animal Crossing. Okay, okay, hear me out. Companies were wanting people, designers, to play Animal Crossing and make islands based on their brand. The only ones that I know that have done it so far? KFC. So here's just one screen clip of the KFC Animal Crossing Island. Now if you were lucky enough to visit this island while the gates were open, you'd actually get some sort of code for an 8 piece KFC chicken meal for free from like real world KFC. And probably some sweet KFC designs. Check it. Just Okay, look at this. This is a video from Nintendopolis, and they're exploring through the the KFC uh, the KFC Island. They got like their chicken pot pies. They got like all the little eating tables. They have their menu up on display. You can see images of their KFC food just out there. <laughs> come on, even I. Wait, how come I haven't done this before? Wife eight. Can I play Animal Crossing? What? Can I play Animal Crossing so I can get some free chicken? No. 
Wifey makes the rules, guys. If that's not enough of that clucking good chicken for you guys, I know, I know. There is one more thing. I saw this a few years ago. I'm still kind of waiting, like, to see when they're gonna, like, actually hit the store shelves or so you can pre-order or whatever. But KFC, like I said, they're on that viral marketing trend and they know what's up. Look at this viral marketing trend. They're already over here. G Fuel, the Colonel formula. They even have the South Park Colonel right there as their mascot. Like, this, this, they're all about the memes. Now, if I haven't talked about this before, this is the real deal. This is actually on the Croc website. Uh, I believe from what I've read online, in Asia, Crocs, uh, or not Crocs. <laughs> in Asia, KFC is eaten around Christmas time. It's almost like a, like a, like a holiday meal. To them, it's their turkey and gravy and, and, and all that stuff. Like, to, to them, KFC is like the good stuff. So here, KFC partnered up with Crocs and so probably some Asian celebrity. I don't know who that is, but there they are serving up. Yes, the KFC bucket of chicken Crocs. These are real things that you can order. Right now, we'll go through the website and see what sort of uh, what sort of specs these shoes come with. So they still say coming soon on the website, and from what I see, I mean. It's, it's been a couple years. I, I think I, I saw this like maybe two years ago, but KFC like they're on it The truly original recipe. Do you love the world-famous fried chicken? Do you love Crocs? Do you love brand spokespersons like Colonel Sanders? Then boy howdy do we have something for you. Oh, man They had me at Colonel Sanders Look at this The Crocs not alone have the here's my mouse. You can see the Crocs not alone have the uh, glorious red and white stripes for the bucket but the top has that crunchy classic kfc chicken look and yes that's not a real piece of chicken that's one of those like where is it that's a what they call a fried giblet that's a a, a croc shoe accessory that you can take on and off and put on whenever you feel like it Here we go. Each pair of co-branded footwear comes with two giblet charms made to resemble and smell and smell like fried. <laughs> Just imagine walking around with those on a hot day. <laughs> oh man. Here's a, a one of their their ads that they released with this. I don't know who uh, MLMA is, but that's them rocking the Croc KFC Crocs. Coming soon. Now on that same Animal Crossing subject. There is a bit of bad news for some players out there. Nintendo is starting to crack down on sale of uh, Animal Crossing items for real money. Like, it's, it's kind of the thing that people would do like World of Warcraft and all that stuff where they really find really rare, really expensive items and they would sell them on eBay for cash money. Now apparently people are doing that with Animal Crossing characters, villagers. Little animals, cats, and dogs. There's a few sought-after characters that are very popular with some people out there. So much so, people are willing to pay real money for that. Now Nintendo is saying, no, no. No, no, no. You no do that. That breaks your terms of service. So if you break terms of service, Nintendo potentially can go ahead and pretty much ban you from the console or delete your Nintendo account or... Do something. To be honest, Nintendo still hasn't figured out exactly what they're going to do or how they're going to implement it. Because it's really hard for them to try to track down whom is selling these items for real world money. The exchanges happen within the Nintendo Switch, but the money exchanges happen outside. Now, that kind of reminds me of a website that I saw where people actually go to trade items, but they use in-game currency. It's called Nookazon, as in Tom Nook. On Nookazon, you can go ahead and there and go there to exchange in-game items. How it works, you get things and you look for latest licks listings. You can support the website by donating or whatever. And you can browse by category. You can look for specific item fossils, villagers, materials, and DIY recipes. So if you're still looking for that elusive, like my wife, she's looking for the uh, the spaceship recipe 
so she can go ahead and um or is it the rocket recipe something like that she's looking for some sort of recipe for to build some sort of spacecraft and once she learns that recipe she can go ahead and build this giant robot so i mean technically she can go here and look for it see if we can find it i believe there's a search bar on top let's see rocket Boom. Somebody's selling the rocket DIY recipe for a million bells. So what you would do is you would go ahead and have some sort of direct message exchange with the person who has the recipe and you would visit their island. You dump all this money on the floor and they dump the recipe up down on the floor. You do some sort of shady exchange behind the Dodo Airlines and uh, you know, call it a day. You go back home with your recipe and they're a million bells richer. So yeah. That could be a very touchy uh, way of doing things, and especially if people are that desperate to find these recipes that they have to like grind in game for. I mean, you know, it was only a matter of time for people to actually start charging real money. So, pretty much, if you already paid for Animal Crossing, don't pay for anything else, especially when you can earn it in game for free. Just Google it how to find this recipe. Boom, done. Animal Crossing is about enjoying your own little slice of paradise. You have your own island to do whatever the heck you want. What the heck? That's all for today's What the Heck. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Give, you know, give it a like. Follow or sub if you haven't already. Check the links in the description below for the Chunk Izzle merch. Make sure you say hi to Pug Izzle, even in the comments. I'm pretty sure he appreciates it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.